Hey Sherry, so I just wanted to give some thoughts on how to continue progressing the splits. You know, one of the big themes that we're trying to work in is these this active stretching or the contracted stretching. So if we're talking about the front splits, that starts with just a long lunge, right? We're trying to sit lower, but counterintuitively, we're still trying to actually contract the muscles. Through that contraction, and then relax, we go a little deeper, hold it, a little deeper, hold it, okay? Now, eventually you're gonna to get to a range where that's very difficult to hold. So if you can find something to put your hand on, that can help assist with the muscles, okay? Now, in theory, the progression we were gonna do would just be to lunge long enough to eventually just be doing a split. I have found there are some shortcuts though. So after, I would recommend starting with those long lunges, but after that, you can go to this kneeling position. And what we can do, start with the straight leg, is you can almost do like some mini deadlifts, okay? So really kind of working through that range of motion with this knee pushed down and almost pushing the heel down into the ground, okay? From there, then, you can also work on this hip extension and kind of put, I'm actually kind of pushing this back knee into the ground to try and activate that hip flexor, okay? Then we'll just kind of keep working a little bit further. Again, I'm using my hand on this pad to support it. It's starting to combine the two. So kind of working through. And now is where it just gets a little bit creative, where you kind of, you're just exploring. You want to feel like you can contract those muscles and eventually work a little deeper, okay? Once I get my hands on the ground, we can really start to make some progress. So I want to be able to hold this. Now I'm now feeling it on both sides where I want to feel it. And, you know, pick a target for the day. So I was using those pads, maybe find a pillow or something to say, hey, I'm gonna to touch that pillow today and hold that static position there, right? And then <clears throat> the next day or the next session, try and go a little bit lower, okay? <clears throat> when you hold these contractions, it really helps a lot. The muscle will give you more range when it knows that it has some strength and ability to work in that position. It's a weird, strange thing. It's not just about relaxing, but it's about contracting as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. Stick with it. Um, and like I said, don't just do it one time and then call it a day. Go through a series of, of those stretch, contract, relax sessions um, and just try and, you know, maybe go through it three, four or five times until you feel like you've made it further today than you did last time. That's helped me a lot. Um, like I said, against for the side splits, against the wall, butterfly, weights, I'm not obviously against the wall now, but weights on the knees, trying to get it so that knee, those knees are all the way touching the ground, is a great progression. You can also do the frog. So here, and really just kind of rocking and working on sliding those knees out further and further getting that big stretch through the adductors. Um, but a bit, ultimately, it's about getting the right dose of gravity and, and applying some resistance, right? And so the right dose of gravity might mean using some assistance and then uh, resistance, meaning you're flexing that muscle before going into a deeper range. Flex, deeper, flex, deeper. All right, give that a go, and uh, let me know how it goes. See ya.